Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am Sugipta here and today we have got something truly essential to discuss, especially for those of us who rely on overhead tanks to quench our thirst and meet our daily needs. Are you tired of the constant gazing game? Wondering how much water is left in your overhead tank? Do you find yourself climbing up those stairs or ladders only to realize it's time to call the water truck? Well, worry no more because today we have diving into the world of water level indicators for overhead tanks. But before we dive into the informative journey, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tank and DIY videos. So alright folks, let's not keep you waiting for any longer. It's time to demystify the world of water level indicators for overhead tanks. Let's get started. So for this project today I will be using uh, one 748C147 encoder chip and a CD4511 decoder chip and a 7 segment display to display the uh, level of water in the tank. I'm planning to make another one uh, video on using one of these LED indicators that will show the level of water in the tank. So that will be in the upcoming videos for today I will be using this 7 segment display because this uh, CD4511 uh, it is a 7 segment decoder chip that I am going to use. So let's get into the data sheet of these chips how they work and let's find out the pinouts of each of these chips. So here I am back with the circuit diagram and the data sheet of CD74HC147. So uh, as we can see this operates at 5 volt and it has a wide input range of 2 volt to 6 volt. So according to this we can choose our power supply to be a uh, 5 volt power supply. Now if I scroll down little to the truth table of this IC so here we can see that uh, all the inputs are pulled high by default now here H stands for high and low stands for logic low and X don't care so uh, X values means doesn't matter whatever input values are there it won't affect the output now if I just take a look at the circuit diagram here that our circuit is actually pulled high when there is no input signal. So that means we are providing ground signal to the bottom level of our water tank and as the water level rises it will pull down each of these connections. Now they are all connected to the input terminals of uh, the CD 748C147 encoder. Now suppose the water level is below the point 1 or below the connection 1. At this point by default because of the circuit is pulled high we can see that all the pins starting from 1 through 9 will be pulled high. Now if I take a look at the truth table here when all the inputs are high you can see here all the inputs are high the outputs that is y0 through y3 all these are also high. Now at this point of time actually we want to display low in our 7 segment display in order to achieve that if we just take a look at the truth table of CD4511 as you can see if all the inputs are high here the inputs are uh, given in terms of 0 and 1 so 1 stands for high input so when all the inputs are high that means the output of 748C147 if they are all high then 
it will not display anything as you can see the display output here shows nothing when all the inputs are high and at this point of time we want to display zero and to display zero we should have an input of all the inputs zero a b c d or these are connected to y0 through y3 all these should be low so basically we have to invert the signal of 147 encoder to feed to the cd4511 decoder so in order to invert the signal we are using these four transistors these are npn general purpose npn transistors bc547 so actually any npn transistor will work fine so whatever you have you can make use of that so these transistors are actually inverting the signal output of 74147 to cd4511 now it will uh, it will be driven at 5 volt as you can see uh, as we have already chosen our uh, power supply to be 5 volt but if we provide 5 volt to the 7 segment display it won't be able to handle that much voltage and eventually it will burn because we need to regulate the current so in order to do that we are using 5.6k resistors for each of the inputs and observe that the ground is directly connected to ground as we have chosen the common cathode display in this case we have to use common cathode display or else if you don't have a common cathode display you can use common anode display also in that case again you have to use eight transistors to invert the signals so by using again eight transistors you can achieve that but that will be uh, more expensive as you have to use more components there and the circuit will become much more complicated so uh, as we can see uh, we are going to use these uh, truth table if you want a detailed explanation of the truth table uh, please comment down in the comment section i will make a separate video for that otherwise if i if i am going to explain all the truth table here then the video will be very long and it will be boring so i don't want to explain just one input i have explained so by following that we can determine whichever inputs we want that will uh, according to that we can choose the output so without taking much time now let us build the circuit and let's now test how it works whether it works properly or not so next let's build the circuit first so here i have already finished making the circuit now i will just go ahead and connect the connecting wires to this circuit and then we will go ahead for testing so here i have already completed all the connections on the back side i have connected these wires they they will be going to the water tank and these two are the wires for power supply so in order to test i will be using my bench power supply and i have a glass ready and water already ready so i will just go ahead and turn on my bench power supply and set this to 5 volts and uh, maximum i guess it will consume 50 60 milliamps so i have set to 70 milliamps in case there is a short circuit it won't burn so i will just go ahead and connect here okay so let's go ahead and turn on and as you can see it is showing zero right now so uh, one more thing here i have made a test probe to test the circuit as you can see I have connected these wires at different levels so that uh, I can simulate the actual tank what it will happen so these are connected at different levels so according to the water level these all will be submerged in water so I will put this inside the glass and uh, let me hold it 
okay so now i have set this now i will put some water into the glass to see whether the water level changes or not so as you can see i have put only a little bit of water and up to the two marking it is dipped as i go on increasing the level of water i guess the water level will increase so if i put some more water three four five six seven eight and little bit more so here it is showing nine that means the water level is completely full and if i take out this probe i guess the water level again will change and eventually it will become zero if i take out completely if i again dip it inside water the level of water again will change so guys this is working and uh, you can see it is consuming only 29 30 milliamps of power at 5 volt so it's very power efficient also so this is working guys so i will just implement this in my water tank and you guys also you can use the same circuit can uh, make the circuit i will provide the circuit diagram in my instructable i'm sorry about my website it's not uh, up right now i have to uh, get things done it's been a while it's been a while i was not maintaining the website i couldn't do that due to some reasons so for the timing you have to uh, get the circuit diagram from my instructable i will provide a link in the description so go ahead and check out that and you can make and make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like it and give your valuable comments i always appreciate whatever uh, comments you do I try to take them and implement them in my upcoming videos. If you have any more ideas of making these type of projects, you can give me. I will try to do those, whether it works or not, that we will see. Because our channel is a lab-based channel where we do experiments. So it may work or it may not work. That depends. But first we have to try. So keeping that spirit in mind. I hope uh, you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for, guys for watching and have a nice day.